Hello Scorpio. Welcome to April. This is Teresa from Tarot by T and I'm getting ready to do your April Love Taroscope. And before I do that I want to ring the bells and create some sacred space around this reading. Call in some good energy. And bells call in the angels. And we could all use some angels right now. So thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And thank you for all your comments. I read all of them. Um, I haven't, I've been kind of crazy lately, so I haven't had time to respond. But I will get to them. So don't, um, don't think I, uh, be patient. That's all I'm asking. Anyway, if you'd like a personal reading, you could just go to my website and I'd be happy to work with you. Thank you for those people who have um, purchase readings. I've been happy to serve you. So let's see what's happening with Scorpio. What's going on? What does Scorpio need to know about love in the month of April? We're having a new moon in Taurus at the end of the month. So that will affect your relationships. We'll see what happens in the cards. So and there's a full moon in Libra at the, at the, in the middle of the month. So that will affect your um, 12th house. So you might be getting rid of some psychological baggage in April so that you can wipe the slate clean and start or get ready for some new beginnings. So what does Scorpio need to know about love in April? What's coming up for Scorpio for April? What does Scorpio need to know about love and life in April? Okay, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, The Strength card, the Temperance card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the King of Swords. Okay, let's see. Well, it looks like you're going to be learning some new things in April. This is the card of the student, the Page of Pentacles. You're kind of open to the new. And you're also going to be, with the Three of Swords here, you're going to be cutting out whatever's no longer working in your life. Um, the Three of Swords is like a severance card. Um, it could mean ending a relationship. If you're in a difficult relationship, it could mean that you wind up, that you decide, I, I just don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Um, and you're really open to some new experiences. Maybe you're tired of um, being some, in something that's just not working. But if you, it could also mean um, you're just severing. You're clean. It's like cleaning house. You're gonna be cleaning house in April. So in the past, you've had this King of Wands energy. This is someone that um, represents a strong. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's a strong energy. The King of Wands is very generous, um, likes to help people, a little bit on the bossy side. They like to tell people how to live and what to do, but they have a good heart. They mean well, but they just come on really strong. They're very, they have a presence when they sit, step into the room. So sometimes it could, I think I said, it's a, it usually represents a fire sign, but even if it doesn't represent the actual sign, the energy of the person is someone who's, it can be a little bit of a bully at times, um, but they don't mean, uh, they're not malicious. They're, they're ju they just really genuinely want to help people, um, but sometimes they're just a little bit too strong in the way they approach things, and so some people might be intimidated by them, but not a Scorpio. Scorpios aren't intimidated by anything. Uh, nevertheless, um, if it's a Leo energy, they could you could be butting heads because Scorpio and Leo is a square aspect. 
So this could be someone that you've been in a relationship with and maybe you're deciding whether you want to cut this person out or not. You know, am I done with this person? Do I want this person in my life? Maybe you've decided that this person's not right for you and you're deciding to just walk away. The Queen of Wands is something that has influenced your love life. So that could be someone, you know, maybe a rival in a relationship. The Queen of Wands represents someone who goes after what she wants. And she doesn't care what she has to do to get it. She can be very popular. Um, likes to juggle a lot of things. Like she's good at work and good at home. And, you know, she has a lot of irons in the fire. But she's a good manager. And sometimes in her negative state, she can be a little bit ruthless and competitive. And... Um, she doesn't care who she has to step on to get ahead. So you might be dealing with that kind of energy. Or you might have been dealing with that. And maybe you decide, you know what? I'm not going to deal with these people anymore. I'm tired of fighting with these people. So I'm just going to cut them out of my life. So it could be a work situation or even a relationship. Um, there are people in your life. And it could be just friends even. People that you thought you trusted or you thought they were your friends. But you're finding that they're not. Or at least this woman um, is a little bit too aggressive or too competitive for you. So you've decided, you know, maybe I need to cut these people out of my life. I need supportive people in my life. Uh, I don't need people that are going to compete with me. And with the Eight of Swords, uh, it could be that you're feeling trapped in April. Like you're feeling like, you know, I really want to move. I want to get out of this situation, but I can't. I'm stuck here. And really, you're not stuck. But you have some issues to work on. You have the strength card here. The strength card is learning how to deal with your emotions. Um, you may have a tendency to overreact or, or um, go to extremes in emotion. And that's a typical Scorpio thing because you feel so deeply about things. Uh, not everybody understands that because most people don't feel to the depth that a Scorpio feels. So they think you're being overly emotional when really you're just being, you're feeling, you're being you. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having feelings. Um, but you can't let them overwhelm you. And you have a tendency to do that. Where they overwhelm you and they paralyze you. Um, and that's with this Eight of Swords, like that feeling of paralysis. Like I can't move. I can't do anything. I'm overwhelmed with emotion. Or I'm either angry or I'm, I'm sad. Whatever I'm feeling, it's just it's just swamping me. You know, and it's and it's... Uh, I'm not, I can't act. I can't do what I want to do. Um, so you might want to think about going for counseling to help you deal with your strong emotions, to help you find that balance. Because the strength card is about taming the beast within, taming that our reactive nature. Like someone pushes your buttons and you want to retaliate, or you want to get angry and you want to raise a big, you know, a, a big uh, commotion. You have to t tone that down. Um, it's not that you can't move out of your situation. The, the feeling of trapped is really more of a mental construct. Because if you really want to release yourself from something that's not satisfactory, whether it's a relationship or a job situation, you can do that. Um, so I see like these two people that have influenced your life are, and you might have decided, you know, the hell with them. I'm just going to cut them out of my life. Uh, I want, I deserve better, I want more. Because I'm seeing new beginnings coming up here. So if you've severed some relationships that just weren't working, don't feel bad about it. Um, just move on and learn your learn lessons from whatever happened so that it won't happen in the future. Um, the temperance card is really, again, learning to find the balance. That's what... You, you have to really work on finding the middle ground, finding the middle path, not going to extremes. Don't create drama in your life. Um, you have to control those emotions. You know, it's like one day you're ecstatically happy. Next day you're just, it's like you're, it's like being bipolar almost. Next day you're just down in the dumps. You want to kill yourself, you know. So you don't want to go to those extremes. You want to kind of find the middle way and learn how to tame that emotion. Learn how... You know, when people push your buttons not to react, um, there's a good phrase. It's called, observe, don't absorb. I have heard I heard someone say that on a YouTube video about dealing with, you know, toxic people. 
when people try to push your buttons and hurt you, don't take it in. You know, you have because water signs have a tendency to do that. They want to take it in, and then it just like you know, what you dwell on it the whole day, and you and you can't function. Don't do that. Just observe the behavior, like as if you're looking at a robot, like you're a robot looking at another robot. This person's not real. They're just doing whatever they're doing. It doesn't affect me. So um, that's how you're going to deal with this energy. But and now in your environment, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and that's a really good card for you know, success and money coming in. And it might be coming in, you might be getting some kind of promotion or raise or uh, that you, will ma you won't really manifest the money until the end of the year because this card represents December, January. Wait, let's see. Yeah, December, January, February. So the beginning of, so sometime around December is when you're going to see the, the results. And Ace of Cups... So it, it looks like you're getting, you have two goals in April, money and love. And the Ace of Cups is in your wish fulfillment sector. So there is someone that's going to be offered. You're, you're going to have an opportunity for a new uh, relationship or a new romance, even if it's just dating. Um, love is going to be offered to you. Um, and with the King of Swords at the end, it's possible that there's, it's someone that's a fi an air sign. So that could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius um, who's going to be interested in you in April. And you're going to have to decide, at, you know, with, what's, what do I want? Do I really want this person? What's good about this relationship? What's not good about this relationship? There's going to be a little bit of an attraction. Um, and you're going to have to figure out, you know, what you really want to do what you really want and what's good for you. So you're going to be making decisions about relationships in April. And you're going to be, so you might be cutting some people out, ending some relationships that you feel have outlived their, um, their um, time and, and usefulness to a degree. Um, but you're also going to be embracing the new because you have this page of pentacles and the ace of cups. The page is open to the new. Um, and if you're having conflict with these two people back here, don't be rebellious. Because that's another thing about the page. When the page is reversed or next to a, a negative card like the three of swords, um, that you have a tendency to be rebellious, you know, and that could hurt you. You don't want to hurt yourself. So if someone's doing something to you. You don't want to retaliate. You want to be smarter. You want to control your emotions, control your reaction, and use your critical thinking and craft a response. Don't be in a hurry. You know, just kind of stay neutral. Um, but I feel like you're going to have some new beginnings coming up, starting in um, the summer, actually. I think the love relationship, this is a time card. Um, that would be June, July, August. So by June, you might be dating someone if you're if you're in a if you're not you know in a committed relationship. Um, you might be walking you know leaving whatever's not working. Like you might have decided to give up on one relationship with a fire sign, and now you're thinking about pursuing someone who's an air sign. Um, you're dealing. You're going to be working on yourself too, and you're going to be learning how to love in April, learning a new way of approaching love, because that's what this card also represents. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of thinking about your processes. You know, how am I acting in a relationship? What do I keep? What do I throw away? What's real? What's not real? That's the theme for April for you, Scorpio. And you can dig deep and find out the answer. And once you find those answers out, then, you know, and once you learn self-control and not to retaliate, you know, because Scorpio has a tendency to want to get revenge. You know, if someone hurts you, you want to hurt them back. And that's not the, you're going to learn that that's not the way to operate. And you're going to learn how to tame that, that, that urge to retaliate because it's only going to hurt yourself. And when you do that, it's, um, it's success. Ace of Pentacles, the temperance. Um, you might meet someone that you get really, that you find you're getting really, you get along with, 
it's a good match, but you're you have you're, you're not thinking positively about this match. You're having doubts about it, or you're thinking negatively. You're not really embracing it. It's there for you, but you're not embracing it. You're worried about it, but there is, but or anyway, you don't want to admit it. You don't want to see it. But the Temperance is a card of compatibility in a relationship. So you might be getting rid of people that you're not compatible with, and then replacing them with people that you are more compatible with, especially with this Ace of Cups. Um, and I don't think anything's going to happen in April uh, other than clearing out. That's going to be a time of cleaning house, like I said. Psychological garbage has to go by the wayside. And you might even do that physically in your own home. Get rid of what you don't need. Get rid of what's not working. Work on yourself so that you're better prepared to deal with, you know, life without going to extremes. Learn how to temper that, that need to go to extremes, those highs and lows. Try to find the middle path. And then you're going to start embracing the new by the summer. By June, there could be a new love. And then by the end of the year, um, tangible success, money. Or in a relationship, it could even mean you know, more of a commitment or more of a serious, more stability. Because the Ace of Pentacles represents, you know, something that's real, that's, that's you know, the, the other cards, every the Pentacle cards represent physical reality. The other cards are more conceptual. So like where the heart, the cups are, you know, emotions, and the, um, and the wands are thoughts and action. Not thoughts, but like action and plans. But they're not manifested yet. Um, and then the, the swords are thoughts and communication. But when you get to the pentacle, that's actual physical. You know, that's something that's in the physical. It's not metaphor. It's not in the spirit realm. It's in the physical. So you are going to accomplish some goals this year that will come to fruition by the end of the year. Um, and especially over the summer, you might um, have a relationship wish fulfilled. And it may be with this King of Swords, if you can accept the person. Um, because you're a little bit apprehensive about it. So, um, good luck with clear, cleaning house, Scorpio. Um, and I think that, that you're, you're setting yourself up for new beginnings. You're waking up to what needs to go. And you're getting rid of things. You're seeing the truth and getting rid of what's no longer working. Um, and even if the severance is, you know, it's going to be a heartache because you feel so deeply. So you're going to feel a sense of loss about letting go of the things that you decide to let go of. But at the same time, you're going to be excited about the new that's coming in, the new energy. So um, it's a month of transition for you. Um, but um, so I, it's really more of a time of clearing out than a time of expecting results. Um, the results will come later maybe in June. So good luck to you, Scorpio, and I wish you much luck and love and um, good luck clearing everything that needs to go. Clear out whatever is holding you back, whatever baggage you need to drop, whatever memories from the past that are still, you know, affecting your behavior today. Just get rid of it all and wipe the, wipe the clear the decks for the new. And, um, I will talk to you again next month. Have a wonderful April. Bye now.